Sandy, officially making land, hitting land as we speak. And joining me there in Asbury Park, New Jersey, Bob Van Dillen. Uh, back to you, Tom Sater. What is making Sandy different from every other storm? Well, that's a great question, Nancy. This system is not just tropical, which it was, but it has morphed into something that we typically do not see. And that is when a tropical system merged with energy and cold air coming in from the west that now it is a, a nor'easter. Now it's a winter storm. Look at the winter storm watches warnings. When I show you the amounts of snowfall that are possible in the next 48 hours, our scale does not go any higher than this dark purple, Nancy. That's well over 20 inches. We're talking two three feet of snow. So if you think we're going to have power outages with just winds, can you imagine how long hundreds of thousands of residents could be without power because they got to plow the roads, they got to get the crews to, you know, chop up the trees and saw them up, then restore the power. This is what we don't see. That's why this is so unusual, Nancy. We don't have snowstorm. If we didn't have anything east of this, this snowstorm alone would lead every newscast in the country because it's so early and so devastating. So that's just one aspect. I mean, we could go on and on and on. It is so multifaceted, and it's so hard to let everyone know what the weather's going to be like in your neighborhood. When you look at this crane here, keep this in mind. For the thousands of residents that live in high rises, if it's a 65 mile per hour wind at the surface, you have to couple that. As it goes higher in elevation, the winds are stronger. So 65 at the surface is 140 miles per hour when you get up to the 80th and 100th floor. So that's why we're really watching every little element 